Hello everyone, this is Mike Padua and uh, we are back right now to give you the very latest on our weather analysis and we are now giving you the initial update on LPA91W which is likely to become a tropical depression before making landfall over eastern Mindanao. That's the latest right now, although there are uh, signs of uh, increasing upper level winds, a wind shear along the path of this system but the system itself is trying to uh, organize despite these uh, strong upper level winds and uh, despite uh, having also some lower oceanic heat content but let's hope that uh, this won't do any harm when it comes to the wind but when it comes to the uh, rainfall amounts this is uh, life-threatening since it could generate more than 100 to 200 plus millimeters of rainfall across the Visayas and northern Mindanao, particularly beginning uh, tomorrow, Sunday afternoon throughout Monday. Okay, so northern Mindanao until um, all of Visayas. And, and, and then on Tuesday, it will also bring rainfall across Palawan. And that's the uh, forecast right now that uh, I'm uh, telling you on uh, LPA91W. Japan Meteorological Agency already upgraded it into tropical depression, although the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is still at uh, uh, LPA status. Somewhat, they are having some power outages, transferring of new power uh, uh, systems uh, this weekend. So they'll be back uh, sometime Monday. So we are now uh, focusing our attention on the J Japan Meteorological Agency and also Pagasa. We are waiting for their first uh, update on this if they will upgrade it into Tropical Depression Kabayan. So the 10 tropical cyclones that supposedly will occur this season will not push through because uh, here comes Kabayan if it does intensify and uh, upgraded by Pagasa in any moment or tomorrow, there will be no uh, lowest uh, tropical cyclone uh, formation within PAR for this year. Right now, in the historical database of tropical cyclones within the Philippine Air Responsibility is uh, uh, at 11, so we are on the same uh, lowest uh, season, just like the previous seasons uh, during the past uh, decades, okay? So we are now giving you the English version. This is for today, Saturday, December 16, 2023. Pardon my uh, talking since I still have some virus or viral infection, having some heavy colds and coughs. But slowly, I'm getting better. Uh, by tomorrow and Monday, hopefully, I'll be uh, good or back to uh, normal once again. And this is uh, in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Abaitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Abony Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Lacacion, and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarini Sur. And also, uh, I would like to promote the Comunidad Climate Action Center, for you to have an uh, updated uh, information or early warning system at your respective LGUs or companies, uh, try to uh, subscribe uh, to this uh, Comunidad Climate Action Center. Just visit our website, typhoon2000.ph, and you just click the banner and you will be forwarded to a uh, Google form for you to uh, submit. And then upon submitting, uh, Mr. Aaron Cabasal of Comunidad will be uh, contacting you to further discuss all about this Climate Action Center uh, and also uh, some of the LGUs in Metro Manila and uh, various sections of the country including Xiaogao has already subscribed to this uh, early warning system so it's very nice you, you should try it okay so let's now begin with our update Let's uh, start with uh, Guavsat. So this is uh, this uh, morning. It's still at medium, but right now it's high probability of becoming a tropical depression. The system is uh, over uh, moderate upper level winds 
and most of its convection are located to the northwest and north of the low level uh, center of uh, LPA 91W. So if the system makes landfall over Mindanao, Visayas will get the brunt of this uh, heavy rainfall. So please take all necessary precautions, uh, people down there, our community down there in the Visayas and Mindanao because of this uh, impending LPA that could bring a flood threatening uh, scenario and landslides because of this heavy uh, rainfall. Uh, as you know, uh, at this time of climate change, the rainfall amounts is uh, getting higher and higher. So we should uh, take on uh, certain precautions, even though the computer models suggest 50 to 100 millimeters. We, uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, put it up to uh, 200 to 400 millimeters since this is what it is. And uh, upon this, uh, the f crossing of this system uh, come uh, Sunday evening, it will also enhance the uh, northeast monsoon and bring some light to moderate to at times heavy rainfall across the eastern sections of Luzon, Calabarzon, Metro Manila, Bicol region. And here over Bicol region, we could have another shear line. Okay, so expect rainfall beginning tomorrow to Monday. So please take all necessary precautions. So uh, that's the scenario right now. Northeast monsoon here. Northeasterly across uh, various sections of the country. Mindanao is still having some good weather, but expect... The arrival of this rainfall associated with the 91W or soon to be Kabayan if it uh, intensifies uh, sometime tomorrow afternoon, Sunday, and it will persist through the evening until Monday morning or afternoon. And uh, not just Mindanao, but also most parts of the Visayas. Okay. And uh, for the fast animation, here you go. The system is. Uh, Currently uh, showing a circular convective blob. Okay, the center is somewhere here, so it's now at 133, moving west at 26 or 24 kph, and it's likely to uh, affect uh, these areas. Some of the rainfall is good when it comes to farming, but when it comes to uh, flood prone areas, it's bad. Okay, so again, take all. No side precautions. And we have another LPA here. This is uh, 92W. Nothing to worry. Computer models uh, are just showing this LPA to uh, circulate over this area. So nothing to worry about. And here's the zoom in subtle animation to show you how large is uh, this uh, convection of LPA 91W. So uh, if you look at it, it's quite scary because it could generate flooding. And if you look at the infrared, so those dark red are very heavy to extreme rainfall for three to six hours or so eight hours, then uh, that's it. So all we need to do is to prepare upon uh, the forge of this weather system. Even here in the Bicol region, if you look at the satellite, it's not much, but we are experiencing on enough rainfall since this morning, although it's blue skies. The sun is uh, shining out because of the northeast monsoon, and later on we will be having some shear line over the Bicol region. Okay, here's the uh, uh, wind shear uh, product, and uh, the the storm is, or I mean the LPA is passing over increasing wind shear uh, uh, for the next 24 hours based on the wind shear tendency. Uh, let's wait for it. There you go. So it's increasing. So it will help this system not to rapidly intensify. So maybe just an active LPA. But uh, when it comes to the rain, that's the problem. Now for the oceanic heat content, the storm is somewhere here. So it's moving over slightly lower oceanic heat content. Uh, around 75 to 80 kilojoules centimeter squared. And uh, here's the uh, Japan Meteorological Agency. Tomorrow afternoon, it will be uh, 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 roughly uh, 200 kilometers east of uh, Davao de Oro, or formerly uh, Compostela Valley. And then in the evening, it will traverse 
the southern portions of Karaga, Bukidnon, and into Misamis uh, uh, Oriental, Occidental, Lano Provinces, Cagayan de Oro. So these areas will be affected by rainfall brought about by the system as well as Bohol, Cebu, Negros, Panay, Guimaras, Eastern Visayas will also uh, be expecting uh, some rainfall brought about by the passage of this LPA which could become a tropical depression but based on the Japan Meteorological Agency it's already a tropical depression but for us it's not yet a TD but uh, if Pagasa upgrades it we will uh, issue advisory as, as well so we are now refreshing the Typhoon 2000 uh, global model trucks of uh, LPA 921W okay let me repeat it sorry refreshing refreshing let me go we are going to show to you the uh, there we go there is the uh, latest from the European model just uploaded so as you can see here the uh, European model shows it uh, land falling over Davo Oriental across Davo City so uh, expect uh, some rainfall here but most of the rainfall are, are located along the northern portion so here so that's the uh, uh, bulk of the uh, rainfall so uh, above the uh, circulation as what the satellite uh, imagery shows right now so it's all pointing towards Mindanao so uh, northern uh, portions of Mindanao will get the brunt of this rainfall as well as uh, Visayas when it comes to rough seas no, it's not a problem except if you are facing the Pacific Ocean I'm gonna show to you in a while the large waves that could generated that could be generated by this system and for the uh, American model this is the American model and the uh, European model ensembles they are both identical so uh, we are not going to focus our attention there and uh, here's now the uh, uh, European model forecast which shows uh, landfall sometime late Sunday evening or tomorrow evening along uh, Davo Oriental somewhere here and then uh, it will uh, traverse I mean then I'll exit over uh, some Wanga Peninsula okay and then by Tuesday it will be over along the southern tip of uh, Palawan so that's the uh, scenario as well as the uh, American model although the American model is pointing more over southern Karga let's uh, move it is it the landfall is uh, before or, or or after midnight okay oh sorry so that's it so it's somewhere here the landfall but again, the rainfall is more concentrated along the northern portions of uh, Mindanao. Uh, when we speak of tropical depression, make, making landfall is uh, it will not generate some uh, uh, extraordinary events. Just the rainfall within the circulation. So please take all necessary precautions. Okay. And uh, let me show to you the rain forecast, which is this is uh, more important than the wind okay this is the european model this is the latest one i'm going to zoom this okay so sunday afternoon or sunday morning it will be approaching the uh, eastern uh, sections of Mindanao, the rainfall and then in the evening it will now bring rainfall over Karaga and Dabao regions and it will extend through monday but uh, the bulk of the rainfall are concentrated over uh, Southern Leyte, Cebu, Bohol, Negros, and uh, uh, Southern Panay, including Guimaras, and over Mindanao, over the northern portions 
but we don't know okay uh, as you can see this uh, this is our only uh, the forecast so we are now going to include the rest of Visayas and Mindanao uh, because we don't know what will be the outcome in real time okay so uh, that's the forecast by Tuesday it will uh, dump rainfall across the whole of Palawan on a uh, whole day of Tuesday so the rainfall over Mindanao will be uh, on uh, Sunday, uh, late Sunday until uh, probably whole day of uh, Monday as well. As you can see it here. So these are uh, isolated, scattered to widespread rains. Sometimes uh, uh, a few minutes on and off. So uh, just take all necessary precautions as uh, you experienced in the past when there is a tropical depression passing here and uh, it could uh, generate some flooding particularly uh, during this time of the year December although we are on an El Nino uh, climate but due to the climate change uh, even El Nino during an El Nino we expect heavy rainfall okay and uh, if we look here over the Bicol region we might be having the shear line tomorrow Sunday so there will be some rains and thunderstorms over the Bicol region so take on our precautions as well Fox uh, viewing this video here, here in Bicol mm, okay let me uh, move now to uh, show to you now the rainfall accumulation so this is the rainfall accumulation for the next three days until Monday So the rainfall concentrated here, okay, Mindanao, Visayas, and also over Palawan, and along the eastern uh, sections of Luzon, including Bicol, because of the shear line and the monsoon. So that's the scenario. And for the uh, uh, waves, so this is now the uh, LPA here. If we move it to Sunday evening before midnight, you can clearly see here the uh, wave height around uh, 3 meters uh, let me see yeah 3 to 4 yeah something something like that 4 meters 3 to 4 meters because of the monsoon but once on Monday uh, the system moves over the inland waters of Visayas it will just be around uh, 1 to 2.5 meters that's the uh, uh, forecast of the waves so there you go that's the latest for this uh, Saturday we will be back tomorrow Sunday to give you the very latest on this uh, LPA 91W if it does become a tropical depression it will be named as Kabayan and it will be the last tropical cyclone of 2023 after two months of lull okay uh, see you again. Uh, take care always. Take all necessary precautions down there over besides and Mindanao. Uh, and thank you uh, so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.